Last month, Notre Dame University hosted an Anglican priest giving a presentation on queer holiness. Some are surprised that a Catholic university that's named after Notre Dame, our mother, and the holiness and purity she has, or that they believe that she has, would host something that goes against God's word. But notice deeply what's argued and offered in this. Dr. Bell here is not going to argue the Bible. He's not going to debate the Bible. He's not even going to teach the Bible. He's going to say that holiness can be given to you simply by your experience and your knowledge. That we can create an existence of queer holiness for all sorts of people if we just work hard and put our brains together. And Dr. Bell, I wish that was true, but I'm going to guess you're not married. I'm going to guess you don't have a boss. I'm going to guess you don't have children. Because this idea that, that you can actually be holy if you just try it, man, I wish it was true. But if you ask your spouse, or if you ask your boss, or if you ask your children, they've got plenty of examples of sins. They've got plenty of times that you thought you were holy, but actually you were, that you were filled with maybe some righteous indignation. That turned out it wasn't righteous, it was indignation though. This idea that we can self-create queer holiness, or straight holiness, or whatever kind of holiness, the word holiness, this idea that we can make ourselves holy. The Pharisees tried that. The Puritans tried that. Rewarming bad theology and putting queer on it doesn't make it any better. It will lead to the same result. This hope that I can make myself holy is foolish. But I still want it too. I still, you and I, want to think that if we just do the right things and we say the right things, man, people are going to see how holy I am and bless me accordingly. I understand the, love, the lie of it, just not biblical. Psalm 108, for greater is your love higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. God's love is greater. God's faithfulness is greater. Anything I make, anything I try to create will not last, will not be holy will not be perfect. No matter how many adjectives I put on it, no matter how many presentations or books or podcasts I make, you can try, like Dr. Bell is, you can try to do this. It just won't last. God's faithfulness lasts. God's holiness lasts. God's gifts last forever. You've got two choices. You can make a God of your own making and hope that you're holy. Or you can look to the God who made you and the gifts of holiness he gives Say, Lord, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to get down on my knees and confess all of my sins. You still love me, surprisingly so, but that is your nature. This is what I need, your holiness given to me by faith in Jesus Christ. Not some false equivalent that really doesn't do anything for me.